Good morning, friends. Uh, I am Dr. Pankaj Maheshwari, Senior Consultant and Chief of Urology at Fortis Hospital, Murad. Management of tract loss during percutaneous nephrolithotomy. This study was conducted at Fortis Hospital, Mullen, Mumbai, India and Tathankar Hospital, Akula. We know that the key to success of a PCNL is a well-made and a well-maintained tract. Ampla sheath helps in maintenance of this tract. Apart from maintaining tract, it also helps in tract tamponade, protects the renal care parenchyma from the ragged edges of the stones, creates a low pressure system so that the risk of sepsis reduces and also prevents fluid intravasation. But accidents can sometimes happen and it is possible that a, despite a well made tract, you may land in perirenal fat and start seeing the exterior of kidney. What would happen if the tract is lost? The temporad is gone so there may be bleeding. There is a risk to renal parenchyma both in trying to re-enter the kidney and in trying to make a retract. There would be fluid extravasation and fluid overload and this could be important in patients with borderline renal functions and in rare situation you may need to redo a tract which will be difficult because there would be contrast exervation and proper targeting with calyx would be difficult. The management depends on whether you still have a guide wire or guide wire is also lost. If the guide wire is there, the treatment is usually easy that you could follow the guide wire and the plot. It is important to reduce the irrigation pressure and see where you see the bleeding or clot and try to advance your telescope and ampla sheet in the direction of the wire and the plug. This is done under visual control and under fluoroscopy control. It is again important to maintain the proper angle and direction so that you go in the angle and direction that you want to go in. Gradual forward movement along the wire would make you reach in the pelvic lesion system and you could continue with your further procedure. Keeping the guide wire continuously in view is again extremely important. There we have entered the pelvic lesion system and further procedure could continue. If the guide wire is gone, then again reduce the irrigation and see where there is bleeding. At the site of bleeding, see if you can see some uh, opening and if you can see the opening, it's a good idea to probe that opening with a guide wire. Follow the guide wire under fluoroscopy. If this guide wire has entered the pelvic system, then you could do the same step as in the last slide where you try and follow the guide wire under fluoroscopy and under vision. If there is a doubt, a uretic catheter could be placed over a guide wire and a contrast can be instilled to confirm where you are. Here, just following this guide wire which was probed we entered the pelvic energy system, we could see the stones. The system is filled with clots, but once we are in, the clots were evacuated and stones were treated. One good technique is to use some coloring agent and methylene blue works very well here. Diluted methylene blue is installed through the pre-placed uretic catheter. See where this methylene blue is coming from. There you could place a guide wire through where the methylene blue is coming and then gradual entry following the clot and the glide wire. If the entry is small or if the direct entry is not possible, then the place from where methylene blue is coming, a guide rod can be inserted over that uh, M plus sheet, M plus dilator and M plus sheet can be repositioned. If nothing else works, then a uretroscope could be used to probe the tract. If the guide wire is there, let the uretroscope follow the guide wire. If the guide wire is not there, then the uretroscope follows the clot. Once you see the stone, then a guide wire could be repositioned and over the guide wire, again, uh, M plus deltas could be used to reposition your M plus sheet. Maintaining the M plus sheet is important and this could be done by proper parking of the guide wire. 
if we park the guide wire well then this complication can be avoided the guide wire could be either made to go down the upper ureter or it could be parked either in the lower calyx or in the calyx opposite or down in the bladder safety guide wire is very important and would help you avoid this problem you need an assistant who continuously gives you a counter traction when you are moving in and out of the pelvic license system his job is to hold the blood sheet especially when you are coming out with larger fragments so that the blood sheet doesn't get pulled out maintaining the guide wire the assistant plays a very important role he should understand the procedure and know exactly what you are doing he should be involved in the procedure you need a assistant who understands the procedure who knows the procedure who is dedicated to the procedure but doesn't use his brain he just follows the instructions that is given if he is told to hold the blood sheet he does exactly that and nothing else if needs he fights your inward push or an outward pull to conclude track loss is common but manageable it is likely in patients who have thin parenchyma most important is not to panic but you need to act fast the treatment will depend on whether the guide wire is there if the guide wire is there follow the guide wire under vision and fluoroscopy then you could replace the guide wire with a guide rod and implant dilators if nothing works then a super stiff wire methylene blue or ureteroscopy may help if the guide wire is out look for the bleeding site try and identify the track probe with wire methylene blue and ureteroscope become very important here and if everything else fails you will need to repuncture thanks for a patient hearing